临时数数天时，比好落于丝绸的那一刹那，我感觉到了中华文明两大元素——书法与丝绸，在我手中的碰撞与交融。这是两种线条的交响，是对中国古人智慧的讴歌。In 1088, during the Song Dynasty, renowned calligrapher Mi Fu crafted the magnificent Shu Su Tie. The masterpiece comprises eight poems meticulously inscribed on a delicate silk fabric. It has been hailed as the finest calligraphy piece in China. However, the material used for this remarkable work remains shrouded in mystery. Leaving the public intrigued by its origins. 戴老师好，欢迎你，欢迎你，请请请。我今天找你<笑>就想请教你啊，什么是数数？什么是数？从字面上理解呢，这个数肯定就是我们四川哈、啊、古时候的那个名字。然后数呢，它实际上就是讲平文结构的一种植物，断、筹、临这三个东西都是数。我看它这个结构的情况呢，应该属于零。看着呢，它是有四十五度角的这个斜纹。这书写的零和我们制造出的生活中用的零之间有什么不一样？蝉子吐出来的丝呢，它是里面的一根芯儿，我们把它叫做丝束。然后它外面包裹着一层东西呢，我们把它称为叫丝胶，就像是它的皮一样。如果拿来做书法。那么这个呢，就不能把胶全部去完了，去部分。对，哦、要是不去，它不上色，对，不上色，不走墨，不做墨。好，然后呢，你去完了以后，它走墨又会很快，而且还有很严重的问题就是什么呢？它就不利于保存，它会氧化，它会重铸，所以老祖宗的这个记忆是了不得。哦、我们这里呢有好多这些织机，好多呢都能生产这个磷。The silk fabric known as Shu Su was produced in Sichuan. Shu Su Tie has captivated the world with its exquisite beauty and cultural significance, showcasing the remarkable silk craftsmanship of ancient China. Through the ages, the technique has been well preserved. Friends，大家好，我们的博物馆它是基于一座百年丝绸所打造。它呢，历经百年岁月，已成为我们全世界迄今为止存续时间最长且仍然保持着持续生产以及活态化经营的国家级工业遗产。我是来找一个适合我们
Yes, I have experimented with various types of fabrics, including damask, silk, and other fabrics. Shu Su Tie might be the only artwork named after its material. The owner of this precious Shu Su was Lin Shi, whose family obtained it during the Qing Li period of the Northern Song Dynasty. Skilled craftsmen were invited to process it, and the technique was extremely rare at that time. Lin attempted to run on the fabric himself, but he couldn't bring himself to complete it. He waited for more than 40 years until Mi Fu came, and then he completed the writing on this Shu Su. In terms of material, let's take a closer look. Upon closer inspection, we can see the intricate dry brush strokes in the striped areas, which is a defining characteristic of the work. I've attempted to imitate the first paragraph of the piece using silk that is commonly available today. However, raw silk requires specific processing techniques such as alum treatment or glue application and cannot be used directly. Silk fabric has a rich history in painting dating back to the Han Dynasty with the existence of silk manuscripts and silk paintings. The Tan Dynasty also saw the creation of paintings on silk scrolls. These silk paintings had varying coarseness, which I believe differs from Mi Fu's Shu Su Tie. The texture and quality of Su and the silk materials also exhibit differences. However, in order to truly comprehend these distinctions, a thorough examination of the original works is necessary. I believe that handling this valuable piece of work is strictly prohibited. Even if we were to touch it, we would need to wear gloves. I'm curious, how did Mi Fu, who was relatively young at the age of 38, have the confidence to attend the gathering and write with such skill on the challenging Shu Su material? Could this be attributed to his personality? Firstly, it is important to acknowledge that in ancient times, being 38 was considered mature rather than young. Mi Fu, also known as Mi Dian in China, was a unique individual with an eccentric personality. However, I believe that his accomplishments were not solely due to his extraordinary personality. Mi Fu was an incredibly diligent and hardworking person dedicating himself to practicing calligraphy every day. He once said that not writing for a day would cause his thoughts to stagnate. He believed that ancient scholars never wasted any time without studying. And it was this level of dedication that nurtured his eccentricity. It was during this prime period of his life that he had the opportunity to encounter the timeless Shu Su, and perhaps only then was he able to create such a lasting masterpiece. I believe the quality of a calligraphy work is influenced by several factors, including the right person, place, and time. When a person reaches the age of 38, they are considered to be in their prime. Mi Fu, one of the four great calligraphers of the Song Dynasty, had extensive experience in calligraphy and integrated it into his daily life. His exceptional skills and bravery allowed him to successfully handle the challenges that many others struggled with. Renowned calligrapher Dong Qichang praised Mi Fu for his ability to draw inspiration from the past, comparing it to capturing the elephant with the strength of a lion. This ability ultimately enabled him to tackle Shu Su and create such a masterpiece. Which specific character from the masterpiece intrigued you most? Could you tell us more about it? Personally, I find the Qian character to be incredibly fascinating. From the precise stroke order to the fluid transformation of brush strokes, the varying thickness of the lines, and the dynamic style of the character, including the final vertical stroke, it stands out as one of the most visually captivating aspects of Mi Fu's calligraphy. The character appears free-spirited, yet it retains a sense of restraint and balance. Younger generations may have a preference for the calligraphy of Mi Fu due to its dynamic nature, bold and extravagant style, and even a touch of arrogance. 
and it reflects the characteristics of young people who exude a sense of self-expression. A good example of this is seen in the characters Hu and Man, both of which have three dots representing the water radical, but are written in completely different styles. This unique manner of writing has never been seen before in history. The structure of the character Hu showcases Mifu's creativity by curving and bending the water radicals. Now let's hear from some of the fellow calligraphy enthusiasts here about their thoughts while practicing shu su tie. 主持人好，三位老师好，各位书友好，我是来自桃都宜兴的艾宏伟，我非常推崇米芾的书法。今天在试卷上临写米芾的名作《书书帖》，我在临写的时候，字与字之间的笔势往来，千丝年代，一瞬间，我好像穿越到宋朝，来到米芾的面前，和他进行面对面的一个交流和对话。我那是在努力的追寻他笔墨流淌过的一个痕迹。平时我一般是在宣纸上进行临写，因此这次在这个丝织物上临写的感觉很不一样。首先呢，我感觉它写起来非常的滑，并且呢，书写的时候我能感受到丝织物、笔和墨，它们三者相结合时，墨在这个丝织物上缓慢渗透的感觉。Let's now take a moment to admire the calligraphy pieces created by the enthusiasts. 